Hello everyone, hope you're having a fantastic day and welcome back to Fear and Hunger. Not too long since the last episode, so everyone can be happy. That's, uh, you know, like the last... The last last episode, and it took like a week per episode, and I, I still feel bad for it. But, uh, we're, we're continuing where we left off. As I would have promised... Also, wait. Shit, my glasses! Get off my glasses. There we go. Oh yeah! As I'd promised, there's two things that I gotta do before we get to the orphanage, and I'm hoping I don't die in between there, or that hopefully it doesn't take too much time. There's two things people in the comments warned me about, and I'll have to check that out before, because I, when I conquer a place, right, I want to feel like I know what I'm doing and there's not going to be any, any, uh, surprises. The only thing that'll always be a surprise, though, is I don't know what changes in between morning, afternoon, night, I don't know what possibly changes, what variables exist, so I, I'm not going to even worry about that. If a, a surprise happens based on the time, uh, there's nothing I can do about that. Um, the same with the, uh, what was it? And the, the time of day, and, and obviously day one, two, and three, there'll be different events, different characters happening. But anyways, besides that, there is two things. I was told there's actually a place I missed in the Dark Woods. So I'm going to double check which direction uh, they're referring to. Cause that, that's enough of the information for me not to consider it a spoiler, Ella. There's a new zone, supposedly, around here that I haven't seen, or more more to the forest rather than entering the village, I do believe. Let me, like... Like, this entire forest zone reaches the town. Mm. But it should connect maybe with the... The old town to the northeast, like uh, in the big green section, like the the dark green of the, I'm not gonna try to speak. I I don't even know like what language it is. I don't, I don't think Polish, but I I, I, I don't want to say no, probably not. But uh, supposedly there's a place in the forest I haven't seen, so I have to find it. So I'm gonna roam around and look for this new area because I don't know if there's an enemy or not. Or a boss, or a mini-boss, or anything dangerous there, so I, I gotta find out. So I'll roam the new woods, and the second thing being someone also told me, separately, that there's a place in the apartment complex I missed, uh, in I think the... 700, nice! Uh, the place I missed potentially in the, uh, apartments in the other world that I am unsure about. The creature has no head. So yeah, I'll look around and get this wept up as quickly as I can. I must find where this supposed area is that I didn't enter. Because I, I don't want to miss any place. I want to... The first playthrough of this game is always, like, the most thorough. The most... I want to show everything. And I want to see what importance Black Caleb has during the main campaign ca pathway. Otherwise, I'd love to swap him out for a human character for obvious reasons. Okay, this see, this way it could seem like a, a place that would go somewhere else, but it doesn't go anywhere. Sometimes it can be misleading. Oh! Hidden spot! Oh. Yeah, for me to not... How would you know about that? Like, that the right area was... more obvious. And here there's a secret hidden spot. And I wasn't even told where to find the new place. I think maybe this was it. Because I... What the fuck? Alright, well it's a good thing I checked out this place first. A hole that likely leads to my death in a secret area that could be ritualistic. And they all ran away. There has to be more. I don't want to get pushed in, but there's a pit here. We'll throw a rock in it. You pick up a small rock and throw it in. It sounds like the pit is quite deep. Okay, so it's deep, but it's... It still hit a bottom that I could hear. Mm. Alright, so maybe this isn't about... Depending on how big this area is, either this will consume a lot of the playthrough, or we'll see. There's clearly more in this forest, hidden... ...for people like me, who'd, uh, you know, usually check every nook and cranny. Looks like this place was designed specifically for people like me who, like, touch every corner like this, for instance. You go into the tree, you go all the way down. Go down, go down. Right. Right? 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 Right now, though, it feels like there's no pathway. Even though it looks like there's more to the left there you can see. But I go in once and I get stuck, so... Hmm. 
I'm also starting to get real hungry. Has to be another way. I don't think I can actually go anywhere from here. Where am I? I'm left of there on the map. Also, I was told, was it tea for talk? I apparently I can talk with everyone. The deeper we go to the forest, the eerier it gets. You can almost hear a hum echoing from the woods. Is that a drum beat? Oh dear, I'm not losing my mind here, am I? He's got a blank expression. Interesting. I'll have to keep the T button in mind. I heard you can get items, too, uh, in some situations. Let me exit and re-enter to see if the NPCs are there again. I didn't get a good look at them. Will they show up to do the same thing, or no? Doubtful. Alright, I'm kind of curious, then. Because I don't think there's a way for me to actually roam anywhere else in this section. There might be more secret sections, too. We'll see if dying... Uh, investigate. The bottom of the pit is shrouded in darkness, so you can't tell how- The rock still made a thud. We could survive it. No oh, shit. <laughs> Your body couldn't handle the fall. Oh, I don't care what that was. That was quicker than I thought. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to investigate more of the forest, not jump down that hole. Uh, you'd suppose there'd be more corpses down there based on them staring down at it, but, uh... Alright. There's still... A lot of herbs I can collect in that area, though. And I'll look for more secret areas there. So then you guys will know about it. Because I don't know how many people that are watching my... I know a lot of people watching my series... I just don't know what ratio. How many actually have played the game already? How many have beaten the game already? How many haven't seen all the secrets? How many people watch maybe other content creators who are uploading content, but it's more so, you know, all endings, all secrets, all deaths, and doing it way before I can even get a chance for it. No idea. So I'm going to play the game basically presuming I'm talking to an audience who has no idea about the game. I guess it's probably the best way to handle it. We don't need to go right anymore, that's where the dogs are. Um, but yeah, I gotta find more secrets like that. So, I'll investigate the Dark Woods exceptionally a lot, and show if I find anything more. Alright, another thing, I want to get a better look at the people at the hole. I'm gonna see if I can rush at them instead of... Come on, come on. Weird, who are they? And they go this way. Can I hit Z and interact with something in the trees, maybe, to let me in? We'll see. Well, I don't think there's any other way I can go around it. If there is a path that I somehow missed, let me know in the comments. But I checked, and there's no area I can interact with, socialize, go in, or anything. So I'm going to look in other areas of the forest now for other secret paths, potentially. Like, maybe even over here. Oh! Yeah, another section! The deepest woods. The air feels damp and heavy in this part of the forest. Ooh. This place with the butterfly. We might be able to travel to the different world from here. It might be connected. Shoot. Okay, more of the deep woods. Like, I just want to get progress in the story of the game. And I'm clearly not able to at this rate. There's just so much to see and do. It's mildly annoying. I mean, I mean not really. I love the discovery. Because then I can just keep on playing and playing and playing. And me playing Fear and Hunger Termina, honestly, it might even be longer than Fear and Hunger 1's... What the fuck? Is it blind? No. What the fuck is that? Ah, oh, centaur charges towards you in a fierce rush. What the fuck? Oh, that is disgusting. Who the hell? And it's got four legs. I'm gonna have to... It's got two heads and four legs. And a gaping ass. It's just... I don't... I didn't want to see, like, Goatsy, but all right. Ah. <sighs> okay, um... The best thing I can imagine is use... Osa and use herding on the two heads and hope both hit their mark because I don't know how much damage their legs are going to need but I will see what kind of attacks he has. I'll guard and see if I can go after the legs. I gotta... they look beefy as fuck but... Hmm. Oh shit! Oh, not enough damage. Okay. 
Um. Wait, did it stun? Oh, it stunned Osa. You're kidding me. All right. Um. Yeah, this is definitely a boss or a mini boss to have this music, though. Oh uh, crap. I'm gonna have to definitely avoid this dude. I'm curious what happened if he died, though, and what loot he dropped. I'll go for the dang to your front legs. 700, and it still wasn't enough. It... Jesus. The constant stunning, the stun locking. He stun locked me twice in a row. And it's an AoE on all party members. Okay. I didn't even have the chance to use hurting on him. All right. Uh, what am I supposed to do there besides just avoid him? But how would bear traps work on an enemy like that? Do I have a bear trap? It's a good question. I should have maybe one booby trap. Ah, uh, okay. Well, if I'm going to really, really, genuinely try to fight that dude since he's like a mini boss, we gotta try bear traps. I'm not sure if he's the type who would just actively avoid the bear traps. Uh, I don't know, but we gotta get back there and check what the hell's up with that place. All right, so it's no longer a section. Like, I'm not even sure if the secret section was something maybe a lot of people knew about, or even because this is, I think, what they're intending for me to see. The, for the ones that know of this area and it implied I should check it out more to reach this area. Gonna have to see what we can do to avoid... Oh. Okay, well, let's try the booby trap. I want to see if any X trap will work. We cannot go in this area without him charging at us, though. So we need to... Fuck. Did he go over it? Oh, he didn't even activate it. Shit. Um... Can we run? Uh, skill. Can we run? I'll try attacking the head just for the fuck of it. I mean, I'd maybe do a body, but I'm sure it has a crap ton of health. Run, please! Oh, oh, nice. Oh, but, okay, well, it did hit him. Is he stunned? It didn't even affect him at all. In this situation, I'd want to have, like, bear traps. I I'd love to have it so it's, like, bear trap, uh, booby trap, and shoot him with a gun from afar before he hits me. But again, uh, Osaka can't use guns. Alright, well, I'll try to legit fight him. Because if we can't just keep running and expecting to succeed every time. And if we guard for... Uh, if we guard for... Well, my, my revs, and we're just going to get stampeded constantly. We have to immobilize them quickly, if possible. But I think I'd need to get rid of all the legs to completely immobilize them. Uh, and since the, like, the one leg took like a thousand damage and he still didn't die, I can only imagine his torso is like 3,000 health or something ridiculous. God damn it. I'll just keep trying. Uh, I'll try to attack the head to see if it... Let's see. Wait, I can just attack the head? Or was that just extremely lucky? Come on, get rid of it. Worst! Well, I can just attack the heads. Okay, well... Okay, I think I can just attack the heads without needing to destabilize them. His legs are too strong. I, we'll keep trying. Though I need a bear trap too. Ah, and this over here in the deep woods, I'm like right here. This looked like it would be also another place I could go to the right since it's, you know, end of the screen. But apparently not. The only thing I know that's here is the treasure chest, but oh, what about over here? No. Hey, I found a bear trap just as I was hoping in the town. But depending on what happens, if I can eliminate everyone in the west side of town... Uh, I'm also just trying to force this open. If I can eliminate all the enemies in the west side of town, I'd maybe cancel my current trajectory of, like, roaming the forest. And instead look to 
uh, completely cleaning the town. Because so if I can make it so I can clean the left portion of the town without the mob coming after me, I'd prefer that kind of thing. So if I kill all the people who can create start the mob, and they then don't have the capability of making a mob, I'd prefer that being my, you know, my save, unless they reset in other nights and days, who knows. Hey, I got a death mask again. Very nice. Defense. Oh, magic attack, though. I'm still thinking, though, it's just that magic attack doesn't influence the hurting spell, and that it's strictly for things like fire or other things. Ah, oh, shit. Bruh. Well, I guess this is ruined. Well, so much for going in that town. I was about to say, yeah, okay, well, well if I, uh, am not able to, uh, clear the west area. When I first entered that town, hilariously, I just was never attacked by the mob. And now I'm just, every time I go into that goddamn area, mob every single damn time. It's like going through the secret woods, or just it doesn't seem worth it, if it's just gonna keep doing that. Hmm, mushroom. But since I do have, I do have the bear trap, I want to test it. And if it doesn't work, I still have a chance to run. But I want to try to get through that damn area without that weird horse thing. There's still an area there to explore, but I'm not strong enough to, uh, strong enough to defeat him. So I'm hoping the bear trap just works. Either that, or I'll just need to come back with a full four-party group. And with stronger weapons. We'll see. First, I'll see if there's a way I can get around the activation of that monster. Then I'll need to put, like, say, maybe the bear trap right here? Like, this is a, a, a space right here. It would be perfect for it. There's no way around it, and... He has to go around it. There's no way to avoid it, so let's see. Mm, is it our here too? Eh, might as well use one. Just in case. Horse, horse, horse. Horse? I don't want to be far away from it, but... There he is. Okay, okay. Get stuck, that's good. Wait, don't tell me there's multiple. Wait, is he still there? Okay. He's stuck. He just made me a little part annoyed by the... <laughs> by that noise. Okay, okay. Just calm down. If he somehow gets around, I'm kind of boned. Okay, okay. Calm down. Let's see what's hidden here. We got him stuck in a corner. Maybe a good uh, exploit for later. Get him in that corner every time. I think the bear trap might have made it so he didn't pathfind me properly. I don't know if he's the kind of enemy that avoids it like the mob does, so you can't cheese him. And because of that, I found a way to cheese him by getting him stuck there, but we'll see. What's to the south first, then we go north? I just... Mm, yep, yep, just wanna... No! 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 Oh, come on! I want to go around it, there's... Ugh! Oh, I thought I was gonna just barely go around that. It's not that I didn't see it, I don't want people being like, Ah, oh, Nico, how do you know see... No, I saw it. Ah, oh, fuck off. I was just hoping I could go around it, but that fucking circle is massive. Even though it's just a f fucking two times two grid, I know, but... It feels like it takes up so much fucking space. I don't think you can go around it. It's just a narrow hallway with no way to go around it. I thought I could just go above it, but I'll try to see if there was any... I have to get around that fucking horse again. I'll see if I can trap him without the trap, uh, without the stun trap, because this episode's not going to have enough time to be able to go do this. And then do the orphanage. Just, just gonna have to concentrate on the forest to the best of what I can even accomplish right now. Alright, so I'll try again. 
Though, just in case it does work, I'm gonna presume, the, since it is a boss, it probably does actively avoid, so you can corner the enemies as such. So I'm gonna... Oh, no, I got... Uh, no, no, get, okay, come on. There we go. We'll see if this actual cheese is, like, 100% effective. And we'll see if we can get around that fucking... Let's see. There could be so many secrets in this goddamn forest. Herb. All right, can we... Wait. Hey. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, this goes around it, I see. Okay. All right. Where am I, and where am I going then? Unless, like, this area is so unknown, I, I like, I'm walking on the edge of the map when I'm not meant to. Or there could be a secret here. I'll go adventuring. Give me a sec. Yeah, this definitely feels off the beaten path. Let's keep going. Oh, oh, well, except for that point. There is a limit because of that tree. Oh, and that shrub. She, that's not cool. I wanted to keep exploring off the map. Alright, so if we keep going west... Ooh, there's a house. Okay, that seems important because of the butterfly. I think we're, like, basically rewarded if we can kill that fucking horse thing. It's defending this area. It'll probably be of high significance for later in the game, if anything. But that horse guards this entire area. If I go more east, I'll just bump into it. So we'll check out this suspiciously smooth house. Tunnel. The bunker muffles all the outside. Okay, what well, you know, actually also? What's the meaning of these bunkers? We've already found a couple of them. A couple. Couple. These bunkers got me ab uh, both absolutely terrified and super curious. I think the curious side wins. It's not like curiosity ever killed a cat, eh? You're, you're, you're red flagging me, Abella. But I'm, I'm just as. Oh. The smell is neutral, no idea what the liquid is based on that. Hmm. I wonder if I could smell one and it's actually, like, delicious. Ram uh, random scribbling. We might not reach the paradise today. Not in ten years, and maybe not even in our lifetime. But know that we are laying down the foundation, the roots that will grow and bring the mankind to the promised land. Take great pride in knowing this. A random dates on a spreadsheet doesn't look important to you at this very moment. Well, let's see what's down here. No, oh, you. Hey, hey, get back here! Okay, she's telling me to go down there. Well, we found another fucking bunker. I wonder if we can find train parts in here. Hopefully we don't find the heroin clown in here again. But hey, new adventure, shit. And we're not even near the fucking main story uh, pathway. Tower? Church? Huh. Who knows? I'm just going in random directions and just finding worlds and worlds and worlds and worlds of levels. Vodka. Shillings. Like, there's grass growing even in here. Oh, and a hand. An umbrella. That's definite... A separate hand. Can we feed the umbrella hands? Is that how they're created? We're going to have to be careful and travel fast because of our mind, but that's definitely a trap. But it's just that to a saw to a bunch of other hands, but that thing's the umbrella thing. I don't know how it attacks either, so I'm not going to bother. Open it. Heads. Bruh. <laughs> of all times, I'm getting, like, mostly tails this run tonight. Yeah, we'll leave this dude alone. It's not important. It's a trap. It's obvious. Hmm. Chalk? I'm hoping I find bookshelves. It's just the one thing I always want. And, of course, you know, not super... What the fuck? Slow moving. If it's slow moving, it likely is dangerous. But I'm curious. I know how to get here at the very least. But I'm curious. Yes. The fuck is that deformity? Depending on what we find, how much we find... Ooh, well, that door... Especially with the Bella. I can get through that door with her. I... 
It's behind the fence, though. There's no fence here. I need to go around. With the Bella, it means these bunkers are perfect for exploration. Mmm. But what are these... Okay, there's a walkway like that. Gotcha. Come on, heads. Ugh. All right, cool. I'm sure... What the f human centipede going on down here? Okay. Do they move? Okay. They're just doing their own thing? I... I cannot imagine them being lethal. They're... Okay. Ooh, hello. Three ammo crates, only one of them opens. Wait, oh, wait. Oh, that one's separate, unlike the two. Uh-huh. Scrap metal. Curious what these are, even. Miscellaneous. Miscellaneous. Whatever they're like that, that has nothing in them. But alright, I mean, I could attack this out of curiosity. I just don't want to die, you know? Huh? No? No? I, I can't even interact with them? What? Marilyn Manson? Why is... Uh, not liking this. Ah, Marilyn Manson, no! But that was delayed. S Stitches. What's with that arm? Uh, I'm not... Is, is that a little, a little scalpel? Uh, Marilyn Manson, but female. Alright. Um, stitches. Something's up with their other hand, though. I don't, I'm not trusting it. But since it's a human design, I'll see what attack they can do and hope I can just target their legs and, you know, attack their head like normal. <laughs> Nice. Great damage. Or... More... Cool. Where'd you come from? Can I ha hack off his fucking head? Uh, beat her. Can I hack... So Good, they're not coming back. Their head might be important, who knows. The head of the stitches. I don't trust... The, uh, the, like, if anything... It wouldn't... It looks like it's also two or three people. If anything, there's a chance maybe their their attacks involve blowing up or something. I, I just don't trust it. And this area is fucking huge. Uh, okay. We go this way. We can make a shortcut by pushing that crate, but I want to know what's more north. There you go. Have a shortcut, buddy. Uh... Let's check out more north. This is clearly the way they want me going. Is there anything I'm missing? Like that door over here? Uh, I'm just gonna double check real quick. Eh, eh, eh. I think I've gone everywhere though. Or actually... I don't think I went this way yet. No, okay. Perfect. Perfect. Pipe wrench. Hmm, here's the door I wanted. Yeah, okay. Where does this lead? Wait, there's an electric pen. Oh, okay, we have to turn on the power. Okay, we can do that. Well, I'm super invested now. New area. Likely it'll end in a dead end, but this area either will be a dungeon of sorts, or... Watch, I'm gonna go tails and it'll do heads this time. Well, I'll go. Dragoon helmet! Oh, okay, that sounds badass. Yeah. Uh, 18th century cavalry metal helmet. It doesn't stay on very well and feels clumsy, but offers. Okay, so it's a mediocre helmet. Okay. The death helmet is gone again. Between our defenses, he's 17 and she is. Fuck, 27. Okay, maybe I'm should. Uh, I'm gonna have to balance this out. You know what I mean? I'll give her the leather armor. 
and uh, give him the Gampson. Because magic is... Yeah, whatever. Looking good. Also, we're getting hungry. Alright, well, continue on the adventure then. Ooh, a little office area. Okay. It's timetable for working shifts. Drawers don't seem to have anything in them. Nothing. No papers. Engine, though. Yes, I still have gasoline. You poured gasoline. Excellent. Now the elevator and... The control panel should work. It's just like the bunker we first went to with the... Where Abella would have gone into. It's, a, it's exactly the same. I'm curious if those fuckers are going to evolve at some random point. Because not being able to interact with them is kind of strange. Like, not just being able to interact to examine them or to willingly attack them even if they have no attack patterns also went the wrong way but yeah first we're going to check out that room and then the elevator then we we'll keep going hopefully maybe find some bookshelves or do enough content not lose anyone and keep going until i can save that'd be nice too now wouldn't it <laughs> like seriously okay just like that thank you where does this go it's just a shortcut, never mind. But we're going deeper. Even without Levi. <sighs> and since it's being guarded by the horseman, honestly... It's either the difficulty is going to be really ramped up here... The tunnel air feels dirty and heavy to breathe. There'll be something exceptionally dangerous down here... Or it's just being guarded by something exceptionally dangerous. Because as soon as I get back outside, I'm going to have to hope I don't bump into the horse. If I can even survive this uh, adventure, let's say. So much for the orphanage, though. Blue, okay. Wants us going that way. But first... We'll take the broomstick. And... Good. Ooh. Duct tape. Wait, is that duct tape as in D-U-C-K rather than D-U-C-T? Intentional, obviously, but it's, it's kind of funny. I don't think I noticed that before. Bone saw! Nice. More heads to chop off. Pressure plate. I'm just sad I don't have the ability to craft mines on Abella yet. Yet. I'm, I'm going to have so many... So many uh, soul stones as soon as I do hack off all the heads like I did in the one video. <gasps> Wait, this again! Oh, isn't this just a mystery? The blue butterfly effect thing wants me to get to each of these terminals. You switch on the monitor. Read the instructions. There's some text on the monitor in a simplified writing format. The tele... tele... telelectroscope cannot be connected to the logic unless all three cables are switched on. This would be the second one, then. I just don't know if this is what the moon god wants or if this is going to help us in any way. I'm going to assume it's all the worst. So many scientists would have had to construct such a weird fucking thing that can connect to the weird dream world thing. Or the moon world. Whatever. I don't know what the, like, the whole wooden other world is. I don't know if it's based on moon dreaming. Or is on the moon. Or is in the moon. Or it's just a dream world within people. It's a cosmic horror. You, you, it's hard to understand a lot of things for a reason. But connecting one before another does not cause any damage, but should not be done without clear orders. Man, please refer to. It's just something... Sophisticated. It's sophisticated. I have no idea what it does. I don't know if it, turning it on is a huge mistake. I hear a projector now, though. Oh, I can't enter there without forcing it open. Uh, I don't have the party members. What if I, like... It's not like I can use an item, too. Actually, maybe I could. What if I... I can't use... Could I? No, because that consumes a turn. Uh, I could try Ornamental Lantern, just to see how much damage it does. If it does a lot of damage, then we'll see. It's a metal door, though. 300. Uh, eh, eh, eh. Not enough. Damn. Like 600, 650, 700 wasn't enough. Might have 800 to 1,000 health, if anything. What's making this projector sound, though? Is that all there is? 
There's something. I want to know what's in that room, though. Uh, my my desire to see everything. And can I get out of here without a problem? Mm, but otherwise, yeah, it's a shame. But we're not going to figure out what's in that room in particular. I need to bring back Levi. Is that it? Just that? That's it? That's it? That's all that's here? We'll see if that human centipede thing has evolved or not from me doing this. There has to be potentially some drawback. But then again, the first bunker wasn't com like horribly protected. Abella did somewhat protect it. Mr. Heroin protected it, and then this one was protected by stitches. It's like there's a humanoid character that is protecting them, but they're not obscenely dangerous. Abella transformed is a lot more dangerous. Okay, but I'm not sure if there's anything to the north. Wait, what direction? Okay, to the north, okay. So we're safe to get out of here without even messing with that horse. Oh shit, he's still there even. I don't know if there's a north pathway because I'm not obviously wanting to attract his attention, but I found a way to cheese that enemy. Uh, if you want to use it, go ahead. I tend to be able to find out these things in a comical manner. Otherwise... I Wait, if, if I didn't have the bear trap, did I ever have the mob chase me out of town or could I actually go up there? Fuck. What should I do with this save now? <laughs> I ventured into the woods, and I basically cleaned it out. I mean, I haven't I haven't cleared all the enemies, but I did a lot of what I wanted to do. Hmm. I'm probably going to... <laughs> hmm. We have a lot of bone saws now. A decent amount of progress. I'd be fine actually saving, but, I mean, this is obviously replayable. This is not a lot of time used. Hmm. I might leave it here just as because we've had a lot shown. The horse trying to fight it, get, cheesing it, then the bunker. I'm going to see if I can just keep playing though and... I mean, not... Wait, also... Uh, okay. We're back here. I'm wanting to do enough content and check the apartment later for the un, like the unmissed rooms, supposedly. Oh, heck, oh, I can't even take him. But yeah, I'm going to leave it here. Because how long have I been playing? I've been playing for an hour. And I'm needing to still, ex like, really, really especially. Hmm. I need to go in town. I want to clean out as much as the town as I can. I haven't done the head, head hacking because I want to be able to uh, get a good amount of progress, basically. And hack all the heads and then save it. The apartment's not going to give me what I want. So the orphanage or some place in town might have what I want. Or a ritual circle for me to use as a save point. But that's basically my prioritization. But let's go through the building and get to the old town on the east end. And I'm going to leave it there, possibly. Hmm, I got some bolt cutters. That might be useful for, like, actual chain link or chain wire that I'd need to cut at some point. I haven't actually effectively found a place I think I could use that, but it's new to my mind. Interesting. Alright, so I made it in town. I'm also just going to equip Levi with a gun, because if Osa can't literally lose a gun for off-screen combat, I might as well just let him keep using it, because otherwise, I mean, it's what he's u like, until I find a shotgun or something better, but might as well let him keep using it. Otherwise, I'm going to leave it here so I can keep going until, I, I guess, either I save or I die. Hopefully I can find a way to save... Or find a ritual say, uh, a ritual chamber, because I just got to use one of the... Actually, I actually can't remember which one. There, there's one of the rituals I could use to save, and I probably will use that. Like, the orphanage, if I travel to it, I could probably find a ritual or a circle there, then save. That'd be fantastic. But, we're going to leave it here. Mostly as an episode focused on me saying what I feel I need to say, but also... Figuring out what the hell was the, the the secret of the deep woods, the secret area, and the deepest woods with the bunker. And then we have to find the third bunker and then find out what the fuck are they even for? And is it good that I'm activating them? 
Does it have anything to do with the effigies? They're not answer they're not questions I want answers for, because again, no spoilers. But it's interesting. We're finding more and more. But hey, if you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a fluff subscriber, hit the notification down below for updates of my videos. Thank you for watching. Until the next time. Rawr.